pole's about to run today. Uh, one pole, that's always a good thing, right? Yeah, it, it, it fired right out of the hole. I was nervous about that because we sat, we sat and waited quite a while, you know. Started at like five minutes after, after time and I wanted to fire up and make a run, but it, it I just thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and choke it. I don't normally do that, and it, and it worked pretty good. It fired right out of the hole, and, and it rocketed. It had really good get out of the hole to the to the buoy, really good. Tell us about your lines, the condition of the river. The river the river was um, high, you know, not, not extremely high, but higher than normal, so it, it flattens out in a lot of places that are kind of bumpy in in the lower water but then it changes on the other spots that are usually flat it gets kind of some green rollers in there so i was paying attention to that trying to take some advantages uh run different lines that i normally would run because of the green green rollers so yeah the course was fast i mean uh eyes been still water all the way down you could run the right right side run right straight through so you didn't really have to let up until you got to to uh white horse and then had i looked at the the shelf there really good i probably would have just sort of straight landed right through but not not knowing exactly where to go where the boulders were at i thought ah, i'm just going to play it safe there was nobody close i mean my family gives me crap looking over my shoulder you know but i i, I gauge that to see what i need to do as a racer to, to keep distance because once you let somebody get a little close to you things can happen so so not a typical podium no jesse reiner guys finished second to you last time kind of a tough luck day for him i know it's heartbreaking for him but you wanted to race with Jeff Lewis, not in the top five, but Buck McCovey and uh, Virgil Moorhead. Super proud of Buck. You know that that's Newt's that's Newt's nephew. Um, he's running Newt's colors and part of his scheme on the the checkerboards in the back, which is really like I should say touching to 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 see that. You know, uh, Buck's a good kid. He comes and sees me. He, he's actually my that they're my cousins. You know, so I'm, he's my family. So he comes in and gets advice from me, and I just tell him how it is. You know, whatever I I need to tell him, I'm not holding anything back. I mean, he's he needs to learn. Like like a while ago, I, I said, hey, we need to start going in the boat with me, and I'll show you what teach you what I know. You know what I've learned. That way, when when I'm done, you can at least have that in your back pocket because it's it, it's 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 a unique deal. And no Jesse Reinhardt again. You know, J Jesse, he he'll he'll be back, dude. He he's got a nice boat. It's beautiful. Jesse's a great guy. I mean, he's fun to race with. Um, he'll he'll bump bump sponsors with you, and I I love to do that. I mean, if I pass my friends, I'm inches from their sponsors. You know, and I go by and I just kind of smile at them when I go by, and it's it's kind of something that I've always done. Um, it, it's it's pretty cool. But Jesse will get it together. He he just really crunched for time, and you know he wasn't even going to run this year. So my hats off to those guys. Uh, special special uh mention for derek i mean he's busted his butt getting his boats going i mean working his own business plus keeping his wife happy and his kids playing basketball you know derek and i talk all the time on the phone at work and you know i could tell every time i called him he was in the basement working on the boat so yeah how's it going man i know you're down there so yeah they'll they'll guess he'll get it better and and derek's boat is really fast i mean i we haven't we haven't gps'd him but i i think he's he's gonna he's up and coming he's gonna be there talk about Roger Sanderson now I know not about you always like you say you're pretty humble with it that Roger eight Boatnik wins uh, tying Don Burdison second all time certainly now chasing that part of history has got to feel pretty good all the hard work yeah it does it's kind of sad that Don's not around you know to shake his hand and and say hey you know you're my mentor and and uh, you know along with Zane Grant my mentor too but Don won a lot of races when I was in the 70s I watched I was like man who won the race today and they said Bernie my dad used to say Bernie who won the race dad Bernie so I mean it's like Jay whiz you know so I, I get to be that guy right now you know who, who won the race B200 Roger B200 and it's like you know I got people telling me um hey how, how's it feel we'll lose your 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 uh, fourth boat nick today you know, because they just tired of seeing me win. But I'm like, uh, am I going to lose my fourth boat, Nick? I'm like, you know, that's not my plan, man. It's, but it, it's just, I love to compete. Um, I love to win. I don't like to be second. It's the first loser. So, I mean, uh, that's just my mentality. And I'll just keep keep going. And like my buddy Tim Allen says, if you race hard, take care of your business. That just happens. That's what he says. So. <laughs> I came a year ago, obviously the mishap and uh, the accident. You know, snake bit for a little bit, but uh, tell us your feelings today. Second place finish. Uh, big run today. It was a big run. Uh, uh, water was good. Racers were fun to race with, and uh, the boat seemed to be flying really nicely. Uh, the it's a brand new powerhead, so of course we're short on compression a little bit right now. The more we run it, the better it'll get, and it definitely gained ours as I went. So um, it was a really good race. I mean, it was something that. Uh, 
it felt good, especially when you blow over the year before and you do a one-year anniversary on the same race and come back and pull a second. Um, best finish that I've had at a Boatnik in six years, so it uh, makes it it makes it makes worth a lot more. When you got to the corner before Robertson Bridge, describe your thoughts. What was going through your head when you got to the bottom of Brushy Shoe? Uh, well, I was definitely over the cowling. <laughs> like, I was... Uh, uh, a lot farther than I should have been over the cowling, but you know what? Uh, it's better to finish a race than it is to blow over and cause a bunch of work for your and headache for yourself. So, um, just played it safe, really. I mean, I, I went out there and uh, really just played it safe. I mean, there was nothing else I could do. I went through the rapids, uh, about half throttle. Uh, just nobody was passing me, so you might as well just give it the time and, and settle down and take a deep breath and go through it and then hammer down in the flats where you should be, you know, hauling the mail. Tell us about uh, Down River. Uh, saw a good pass. You and uh, Chad Stitcher had a little duel there going for a while and then uh, Buck McCovey. Yeah, Buck, Buck McCovey was, uh, it was the race inside the race between him and I because his boat's really fast. Uh, he was taking whitewater uh, faster than I was, which he was letting him gain on me. But as soon as we hit the flats and I held it wide open, I was pulling three mile an hour at least. Uh, so... It was good. I, I had fun racing with these guys. So second place, $1,700 payday. That'll bring you back, won't it? That'll bring me back. I'll definitely be here next year.